Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben Rider. Today we're testing out the Honda CB500F uh, 2022. It's a naked bike and it's a naked version of all the 500s in this range from Honda. Uh, I've never tried this before because it was not available for test ride. Usually here in Spain only we only have the CB500X for test ride and they say they sell it the most but yeah no wonder you know if they only have it for test ride then of course they only sell the CB500X. They say everything is the same, but I doubt that, you know, especially you also have a different seating position. So they should be able to provide all of the bikes for you, you know, which you are interested in. Anyways, um, this one has nearly 48 horsepower. It's an A2 compliant bike, so you can ride it with your A2 license. It has 43 Newton meters. Uh, the changes in this year for 2022 are not drastic, but you know, they made some changes and they made it more mature actually compared to the last one, to the last year's models. Uh, this year's models, we have two disc brakes in the front, which is the biggest change. We have a four piston 296 millimeter double uh, disc brake in the front. We have a 41 millimeter shower upside down. Uh, fork in bronze it looks pretty nice um, yeah these are basically the changes uh, they say it is perfect for the city I don't know why they keep saying it is for the city because I don't really want to get stuck in the city with this bike I know you know maybe it is more agile because of the front or so I don't know why why these marketing people think like that but I think you know of course it would be ideal for the uh, for the country road uh, of course, we have, have a re re fairly modern display with LC display, inverted LC display. I will show this to you in a moment. So here we go. Here we have the controls in the front. We have the clutch lever, uh, which is fairly light uh, and not, you, you don't have to work very hard to uh, activate it, to use it. Uh, it is also a slipper clutch clutch. <laughs> And uh, we have a passing light uh, switch here in the front, which is very nice and convenient. We have high beam, low beam switch. We have the horn. We have the left hand and right hand signal right here. Um, all, all, of the all of these uh, plastics, they really feel like Honda quality. So not really cheap, really good Honda quality plastics. On the right hand side, we have the on off switch, emergency switch kill switch they call it also we have the emergency uh, or hazard light switch here and we have the starter switch uh, we also have the throttle here of course and with the brake lever which is adjustable in six positions so this is the display we have to hurry up quickly here because there's a cleaning truck com coming so i don't know if it's going to disturb us anyways this is the display on the left hand side we have the uh, rpm counter on top we have the clock uh, to the right we have the speedometer, we also have the uh, coolant uh, temperature gauge on the right hand side. Uh, underneath we have the total mileage, we can change that with the buttons down below. 
Uh, once again to the left, as I said, we have the RPM counter. In the middle of it, we have the gear indicator. <clears throat> to the right, we have the um, fuel capacity uh, indicator. And uh, down below, we have a second uh, data set here. Uh, at the moment, we show the uh, average uh, fuel consumption. We can change this around with the left and right uh, button here. Um, with the, uh, the left uh, indicator, we can change to the liters we used, to the uh, average um, speed, to the time spent on this trip, actual fuel consumption, average fuel consumption, and that's it. I will go back to the average. On the right uh, switch, we can use uh, for the total, the trip A, trip B, and the RPM we can show in digital numbers here, or yeah. And that's about it for the display. We can also change the, uh, the, um, the shift, uh, the, the change light or the shift uh, light uh, when this should be activated and the range of the shift light. We can do this uh, with a certain button combination. Welcome back to Ben Rider. We're in the riding video here now, in the, in the riding section of the video. And we are on the Honda CB500F naked bike, street fighter, whatever they call it. And it is also a joy to ride. As you might know on my channel, I test all kinds of bikes and scooters. I don't have very many bikes that I don't like, many scooters that I don't like, there are some, very few, but usually when I get on a Honda, there's absolutely nothing really wrong with it. Uh, they're just a joy to ride, they're easy to handle, everything clicks into place as I say. Yeah, definitely nice for the road, for the country roads, I will say. I will tell you, uh, the mar marketing department of Honda, on the website apparently they say, they think this uh, naked bike is made for the city, I don't know why, maybe because it's uh, very agile, can be easily handled, I don't know, but I think this is perfect for the country road, it is a lot of fun, in 1 to 4 gear, from gear 1 to 4, if you go higher fifth sixth gear yeah then of course you notice it's only 48 horsepower and on the uh, highway freeway uh, then you then you notice you know there's a lack of power there but other than that on here where you go constantly shift from th third to fourth gear and so on it really is a joy to ride nice cornering um, yeah that's that's what, what i can tell you at the moment I, uh, I want to repeat once again what is different in this model year. <clears throat> we have, uh, I don't know, I don't think this is new, but I will mention it anyways. The very prominent uh, display here, LC display inverted. Um, at the moment we don't have any sunlight, but I know from the CB650R that when the sun comes out, it might be a little teeny tiny bit difficult to read. Uh, because there's no fairing here, anything uh, whatsoever. On the CB500X it's a bit easier and on the R also easier on the RR because it has a fairing, it has a cockpit and it is a little bit, uh, the reflections are cut down a little bit. Here uh, everything is very open and so the, the display is not that, I mean you can read it of course but maybe not as good as you wish. Uh, the differences to the last year, um, there are some striking differences in the front, definitely. We have um, two disc brakes now in the front. 
and uh, yeah I don't know I mean I had the CV500 actual one disc brake I don't know if there's really a really really big difference in stopping power I don't know I'm not a really an expert you know and so I couldn't really tell I mean it's good that you have to that in an emergency maybe you get better stopping power but I mean I, I never ridden my bikes to the limit so I cannot really tell you if that is better or that it, if that feels actually better you know I don't feel anything different anyways uh, also the uh, fork is different we have a 41 millimeter shower upside down fork and uh, that is different to the previous model year uh, i don't know if they were actually in bronze already the color the, the, of the fork i don't know if that was uh, if that is different already we have four colors this year we have this uh, this apparently is not black this is gray or dark gray or something then we have three other colors uh, also uh, yellow or it's more of a gold and a um what's the other one a uh, red one and I forgot the uh, fourth color maybe it's white or so yeah it is definitely nice for this for the country road here I do like it the seat is actually quite comfortable I'd say quite comfortable okay suspension Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is uh, hard, but not that hard. I mean, it's fairly sporty, I'd say. Um, nice cornering. And uh, the gear shift is also very easy. Easy for beginners, riders. Everything is easy to uh, activate, to use. And so I'd say, although, you know, maybe some people who are not beginners would also buy this, you know, because they don't need more power or whatever, but still, I think it's a very, very good bike for beginners. Uh, because it's e very easily, easy to handle, and also the power, uh, uh, you know how it actually gives out uh, the power output is fairly li linear there's no surprises in it so as a beginner you, d you, you don't get scared you know yeah um, yeah I mean what can I say the mirrors are actually a bit the actually too much of myself I can see in the mirror the mirrors are fine typical Honda standard good quality but maybe they should have been made the stems a little bit longer so you can see a bit more from the uh, surroundings uh, yeah this is one thing a little teeny tiny thing I should complain about other than that everything is fine seating position seat height also uh, not uh, not intimidating at all 785 millimeters so yeah, I'm 175 I can almost get my flat foot both uh, of my feet you know on it almost not quite but almost and so that's pretty amazing uh, it's very hard to find you know bikes nowadays with these low seat height also Kawasaki is actually raising their seat heights so this is definitely a plus to to make it more approachable to everybody and especially also you know, of course younger riders maybe uh, a2 riders beginners who are not very confident yet the, the, the exhaust uh, yeah if you have the, your helmet closed and everything it's you don't hear it that much but it is not too bad actually it also has this popping noise sometimes which is quite nice I do like it as well So, yeah, that's about it. Let's go on to the freeway now to see what it's like. Um, and then we will go back to the dealer again. 
my hopefully fairly quick short uh, my hopefully fairly short test ride of the Honda CB500F my first time on it I like it very much and for A2 riders I can definitely recommend it it is really a, a joy to ride as well in the lower rev ranges you have good power output so you don't have to worry about it so let's go naked bike feeling here <clears throat> all of the wind which comes at you hits you on the chest naturally so no surprises there there's no deflection of the little display so you get all the all the force of the wind onto your body if you know about this it's fine you know it's a naked bike so I will not complain about this um, what I noticed so far already is when you are in fifth or sixth gear, you notice that there's a diff uh, that there's a lack of power. But I think that's also quite natural for a 48 horsepower bike. Usually, you know, they lack the power in the higher gears uh, and at higher speeds. So nothing really to complain about there. I just wanted to let you know about this. And um, yeah, <clears throat> so there's really not much else to, to tell you about the Honda CB500F. It's a good package for anyone who's interested in a street fighter, naked bike, A2 bike, um, or maybe who just uh, passed their riding driving license for the A2 license with 35 kilowatts or 48 horsepower. Very nice bike nice design we have four different colors and uh, all around LED we also have uh, positioning lights or whatever you call them which are constantly on in the front um, it is like the uh, on the CB650R they are also on all of the time and that's an additional safety feature we also have additional safety feature as when you brake very hard the uh, emergency the hazard lights will come on and sh show the traffic that you're braking hard that's also another feature of the Hondas but that's been implemented for a few years already so nothing really new uh, yeah that's all I can tell you my verdict a very nice nothing really to complain about um, if you if you sit on it you ride on it it feels just like a Honda everything clicks into place you're happy with it and you can go out riding you don't really have to get used to anything at first the only thing when I say that actually <laughs> the first thing that I noticed that the clutch level once again that the engagement is fairly to the front not at quite as drastic as with some other bikes from Honda but maybe in the last I don't know one and a half centimeters or something so of course you have to get used to the clutch engagement point but other than that a very nice bike and I can highly recommend it to you anyways this is my test ride today of the Honda CB500F 2022 thanks very much for watching this has been right out take care bye bye